everyone welcome once again to the channel it's your boy Louis and today I am taking you with me to the full experience of Miss World 2024 here in Mumbai India I am so excited because getting to this point was a journey to say the least lots of ups and downs lots of declines lots of challenges but with perseverance and you know and willpower here we are and we're gonna make the most out of this entire event and most importantly I will be bringing you with me for the entire experience. It's currently a little bit over 3 p.m. and I'm actually just waiting for my friend Malik who is gonna come join me and we will be able to go to the venue. Uh, we wanna get there in advance, so the show starts at seven, but we wanna pull up at 5 p.m. because although we do have tickets for the show, we heard that it might be one of those situations that is kind of like first come, first serve. So we want to avoid any other challenges that those that we already had up until now. I was also very happy because I was able to manage to get a ticket for Malik as well. So he came all the way to Mumbai, but wasn't sure if he will be able to attend the final show. And we are making it happen, babies. So this day is really turning out to be one for the books. And I cannot wait to see what else it has in store for us. Welcome Please. back, Malik. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, we are running super late for the show so we're gonna hurry up uh, our uber should be around here so let's just head out can't wait for miss world 2024 no. 24 years <laughs> we're so this. stressed because we are scared of not making in time uh, we got tickets last minute so that's exciting and let's just enjoy the show let's just make the most out of it so i'm just gonna look for our car This is your first major big four international pageant? Yeah, I mean major to go and watch it offline. Uh -huh, in person. Yeah, in person. Wow. This is his first. This is my fifth major pageant in the world. I mean, and amongst the big four, this is going to be the the last one of the big four. Because yeah. Super is considered to be on the fifth. So ooh, major milestone. Thank you guys for, for the support and the love. <laughs> We are official here at the venue. It's super big. It's super crowded. So many people. Uh, 71st Miss World Festival. 71st Miss World Festival. But we're gonna try to go to the red carpet because yeah. some of our friends are over there. And then we'll head to the actual venue. So let's go. Okay, guys. So I just got a first glimpse of the final stage. I mean, the actual venue. It looks humongous, so so big, and look at the screens. Oh, it's like Miss World 2018. They have the sets of gold. I know. This is happening. Yeah. We're actually here. Oh my god! I still oh, cannot believe it. So we're all scanned, ready to enter the venue. It's super dark in here and I'm about to just get a first glimpse of the stage and have to look for my seat because I have no idea where it is, but I'll figure it out of course. But I'm really excited for the stage though. So let's take a look. Wow. Look at the stage, that's huge. That's probably one of the biggest um, international stage that I've seen. This is definitely bigger than Miss Universe, I think. 
uh, definitely bigger and more complex than um, Miss International. And perhaps the Miss, perhaps the Miss Earth uh, stage was a little bigger than this one, but not as complex. It's All right, everyone. So the show has officially started, but there's no one on stage yet. I think they're just playing something for the live stream. Uh, I got to sit with Team Philippines, so I'm here with the entire family of Gwen. Uh, let's root for her <laughs> and see what happens. Let's just hope for all the best. Alright, so now after the host introduction, the girls are finally coming on stage. So we have a little bit over 45 seconds before we go back live and the girls are already taking their position on stage right now. So there. Well, we begin. Let's meet the 30 contestants from the Americas and the Caribbean, beginning with Argentina. For the beauty with the yeah. purpose of work. Brazil from Latin America, from Americas, Uganda from Africa, from Europe is. We didn't even hear. Ukraine wins the award for Europe. Wow, Nepal for Asia. Congrats, ladies. Now it's a reveal of the winner of the award, so the one that takes it all home. They pick one per continent, and now it's the final winner of the award. Who is it? Brazil! There you go, Brazil it is then. <laughs> Everyone, so I just left the venue for a few moments so I can catch up with you guys and give you a few updates of what's going on at the moment. Basically, what's going on here, I um, wanted to give you some of the behind the scenes. The introduction that you saw with the opening number and the costumes and everything, that was actually not happening on stage, so it was pre-recorded, the entire choreography, which I think it was actually a smart move to give more time to the girls to be prepared as they all, as they all had to come out and do their individual introductions. I really loved, as I said, the fact that they get to uh, have some time for themselves on stage after such a long time. I mean, over three years preparing for this moment. So the fact that they get to have their spotlight, you know, I'm really happy with that. Megan actually and the male host are both doing an incredible job so far. So the energy in the room is very vibrant. They all look absolutely stunning. And so far, no complaints. In just a few moments, they will announce the winners of the fast tracks, which I think that we could have done without it because we already know based on the posts that were done on social media, so it's a little bit redundant. But it's okay, I guess they have a certain time that the show must last. 
Uh, what I'm kind of nervous to get into is finally the top 40 because this is where we will kind of know who gets the chop, who gets at least the place within this entire experience and who doesn't. I actually got lucky because I was sitting uh, quite far in the background, uh, but I was spotted by Miss Philippines friends and family and they, they told me, come here, you are Filipino by heart so you can sit with us. So I was able to sit with her. I also had a ticket for um, sitting with the family of Miss Canada, but I ended up giving that ticket to Malik because Malik did not have a ticket to attend the final show. And I really wanted him to experience it because it's his first international major pageant. So I really wanted him to have, you know, like a good experience and all of that. So I'm happy that he's getting that. He's actually sitting on the tables um, closer to the stage. The winner of the talent portion is going to treat us to a performance. So it seems like that's also part of the show now. Fairness, the performance is lip synced. But the production is really amazing. I'm really surprised. The staging is beautiful, the backgrounds are beautiful, they have special effects with like steam coming out of the stage, a lot of dancers, so no complaints. We are going with the top 40 announcement. Um, the first one making the list is Brazil. No surprise at all. Oh my god, the graphics for this is just out of this world. So Brazil, Uganda, Ukraine so far. Keep in mind that the winners of the uh, Fast Truck Challenges are already in. So as of right now, they will only announce uh, 26, I believe, 26 candidates. They're actually announcing them once again. I think it's a little bit redundant. I wish they could just, you know, say whoever won the special awards is already in. Let's focus on the ladies that we're still kind of debating on whether they made it or not. Uh, so let's see, but so far, no surprises. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much the goals that we were all expecting to see. I'm just here waiting for Canada, Philippines, India, France, Lebanon. England. England is in, nice. Very nice for England. She used to be one of the fan favorites in the early beginning. At this point, I don't know if she's still Still stands a chance, but I'm pretty sure she can go far if they see it in her. I think Lebanon is in also. And finally, our talent champion. Right in the middle of it all, they decided to go to a commercial break, so we have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> we have to wait and see what's gonna happen, but I think, um, I mean... Are you live? Uh, no, we're just recording a vlog. Team Philippines! How are you feeling? I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> actually, I'm actually very confident. For, I'm very confident for Gwen, so it's okay. No need to be nervous. We got this. <laughs> Let's go, Gwen! Est-ce que t'en penses de Miss France? Elle rentre dans le top 40 ou non ah, Il faut, il faut absolument faire. Il faut, hein Elle a très bien défilé. Ouais. C'était pas. Ok, ok. Très beau catwalk. <rire> Allez, Miss France. <rire> We are back in business now. The rest of the top 40, let's go. Belize. Woo, Belize. Mm. Very nice. This is the most nerve wracking part because everyone wants at least a placement, right? Canada! Canada! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Jamie! Oh my god, she changed the gown. She looks beautiful in red. There she goes. Peru 
is not a surprise. Puerto Rico! Ooh, Puerto Rico. Expected. The family and friends and national directors are there for Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. How many remaining spots? How many? How many? I don't know, huh? This is starting to get. India! Of course! Let's go, India! Woo! I thought more people would be rooting for India when she was called. We need more hype. Yeah. I'm noticing a lot of like smaller countries that I didn't really necessarily notice at first. Obtaining a placement. So <laughs> Mauritius is there of course. Somalia. delegates on stage is a little bit too long. I wish they would have done like a top 20 or 25 at most. It's getting a little bit... I mean it's a lot and it's very nerve-wracking so of course... Uh, but I get it. They need to stretch the show to add advertisement and make money, make revenue at the end of the day. Spain is in very deserving. Beautiful girl. Asia Australia Okay Australia The one country India Okay earlier I thought they called India but no it was a different cause that was not like why oh, is nobody rooting like why is nobody yelling for India? India. Oh, 
Okay, so I just decided to go out for a few moments so that I could kind of digest everything that just happened uh, with the announcement of the top 40 candidates. Uh, we have very, very mixed emotions because when we were really expecting her to be at least in the top 40, I know that I'm not the only one who shares um, that sentiment. As you guys can see, the whole family, the whole team, everyone showed up. Um, so I, I just don't know. I really don't understand what went wrong, what happened during the entire experience. If anything, I thought that Gwen was kind of exceeding everyone's expectations up until this point with her placement within every single one of the fast track challenges. Um, so I don't know. I guess that maybe until we talk to her and we get to kind of hear her side of things and see what she thinks it might have been, um, we won't really know for now. It's realistically it's a very strong batch of miss world we have to acknowledge that there's a lot of really beautiful girls really eloquent really amazing projects very talented girls um but still up until now i mean i was just saying it here on the blog a few moments ago i was very confident of gwen obtaining at least a top 40. the family was sharing the same sentiment the dad the mom they were saying we're 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 sure that at least a top 40 is is granted anything else after that is kind of a gift at that point like whatever comes we will embrace but uh, I think that we're all a little bit in shock at the moment. Uh, I'm going to say I'm very happy for Miss Canada. I thought that it was challenging because especially in a lot of these you know, particular challenges, I thought that she was not being highlighted all throughout the competition, which is kind of, you know, you see the contrast there between, for example, Canada and Gwen. Gwen was obtaining placements, Canada not so much. I think she obtained one or two placements, um, but she's there in the top 40. So I'm very happy for her, very proud of her, uh, very, such a sweet girl. Um, for the most part, other than that, there are no major surprises in the top 40. Some uh, smaller countries that maybe I didn't hear as much of uh, all throughout the competition did manage to play. So I wonder what is it that uh, Miss World looks for? Like what is the formula? What is the, uh, the secret basically? I know that such factor is definitely not a thing. So. I'm not looking at, you know, how much support this le these delegates have in their countries, but rather, um, you know, in a batch of over 100 and something girls, uh, some of them, to be quite frank, I kind of struggle to, to see them stand out. But here they are, so I guess we have to embrace. Um, I'm going to try to go back in and see what the tone for the rest of the night is going to be. Of course, everyone is super sad, everyone is super bummed. The mom, the dad, the brothers, the team, you know, friends, everyone is there for Gwen. So I guess that now more than ever, we have to be there for her, even more than she would have placed, right? So let me know in the comments if you if you have a theory of what do you think went wrong with her participation. The top 12 is being called as we speak. And the first lady to make it is Botswana. Botswana is in the top 12. They're calling Africa. Mauritius! Mauritius, of course. Woo! Okay. Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. Dominican Republic, Trinidad and Tobago, and Brazil. Okay. And now they just called uh, Botswana, uh, Uganda, and who's the other one? Guys, I have the memory of the gold page, okay? So. I'll just write it here somewhere. <laughs> it's from the next one is Europe. Europe. Czech Republic. And that England. Is the Czech Republic. 
the Czech Republic, where rich culture blends in cryptic natural beauty. The next qualifier is. Next lady to make it in is. Maybe England or Spain. England! England. No surprise. Finally, from Europe, we have Spain. Yeah, that was to be expected. <laughs> There's a new candidate going in, and it's Australia. Right, as well as Australia is taking a spot from Asia and Oceania, meaning that there's only two remaining delegates that will be taken from Asia. So who would it be? Maybe Indonesia and uh, Nepal. India, of course. India is also in Asia. India! That's okay, the kid is really excited. <laughs> and that goes to. Is this the last spot? Lebanon! Ooh, come on, Lebanon! Why, why everyone went so silent? I'm a student, and recently I've been chosen to be one of the listeners of Focus Under 30. So now we have officially the announcement of the top eight girls. I was actually just checking the top 12 uh, official posts on the website, on the Instagram account, sorry. The first top eight from America and the Caribbean is... Brazil! Brazil, Brazil. For, okay, so for the top eight, it should be Brazil and Trinidad and Tobago. The second box. Trinidad and Tobago. From America is. sure it's gonna be in there Tourism is one of the major sponsors of the pageant, so I thought if there is politics involved, they will give it to Mauritius. But Uganda, very deserving, so happy for her. The first participant in Europe to make the top eight is Czech Republic. Czech Republic! Of course, she had to be there. 
<laughs> Otherwise, it's rigged. I really don't know for the second spot, but I'm gonna think, I'm gonna believe it's England. That's my belief. Let's go! And moving to Asia and Oceania. It's not live, it's not live. Moving to Asia and Oceania. The winners are definitely gonna be India and Lebanon. It has to be. I'll just move because the guy is telling me not to record. Whatever. Literally everyone is recording. <laughs> India had to be there. It's a must. Lebanon. Get it right. Don't play with Lebanon. Come on now. I don't want no mistakes. Next year for Lebanon. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so let's head out. So we can catch up. Okay, so basically, no major surprises for the top uh, eight announcement. The only one that I kind of got wrong that I thought uh, that would advance is Mauritius. As I said, purely, I mean, not to be unfair to the girl, but purely based on politics because Mauritius, Theresa Mauritius is one of the major sponsors of the fashion this year. If you look at the logo of any of the graphics, Mauritius is there, even quite literally right now, you can see it. Uh, as one of the sponsors on the announcement graphic but Uganda super deserving and I'm so happy because she has her whole family her whole team over there rooting for her uh, at this point based on the girls who are moving on to the next round if I had to pick one each I would say um, from America's Brazil from Africa I'm gonna go with Botswana from Europe, I'm gonna go with Czech Republic and with Asia and Oceania, I'm actually between India and Lebanon. Here's the thing, I think that Lebanon deserves, India is the host country, but she also deserves on top of that. So I don't think that it's one of those cases where like they might give it to her just because it's the host country. Like both of them have worked tirelessly for this title. I don't know if maybe the association with Miss Lebanon at Miss Universe might have an impact. Maybe they will prioritize India because of that. But we shall see. But that's basically my forecast for the top four. So there is a plot twist. The girls have to answer the same question, all of them on stage. And so far, Trinidad and Tobago really dropped the mic. So I think that um, if they pick one from Americas, it might be her. So I don't know if this is gonna be enough to take the lead over Brazil, who won the uh, Beat It With A Purpose Award. So it's not an easy thing to do, to take down Brazil, but that answer was definitely the strongest of the night so far. I mean, there's only two answers so far. <laughs> Okay, so Botswana is super, super mega eloquent, but I think she liked a little bit of energy or impact in the speech. Although it was an outstanding answer. Very heartfelt answer. But I think that it does not overshadow Botswana. Thank you, ladies. No surprise from Africa. All right, we're picking on Botswana for the top four. All right, now we have. This is going to be a challenge for Czech Republic because England is an amazing speaker. And although Czech Republic can express herself very well, uh, I think that there is a little bit of a language barrier. So let's see how she handles it, basically. 
All right, thank you, Bobby. The first question is for you. If you could shed light on an issue concerning women's health care, what would it be and why? Thank you for your question. Uh, being a woman is a big deal, and I can't get more ready to stand here proudly as a woman, representing all of the women in the world. And I think uh, the issue we never should forget is about administration. Because women in many countries are still facing the shame when it comes to menstruation, and they're afraid to talk about it and make more than the age when they reach. Thank you. That was actually very solid. Very solid. Now, Miss England, let's see. I mean, technically, technically, England was more eloquent, but I kind of like Czech Republic's answer better. Was more specific, uh, and even even with the language barrier, she was able to defend it better. So let's see, now it's Asia, so India and Lebanon going hand to hand. Who is it gonna be? Hello India. The first question is for you. Can you suggest a way that women can be empowered through social media? But today we live in a world where social media is of such power, of such use, that conversation and awareness can create change. And I do believe that social media has the power to change the world living in the Generation Z and being a part of Generation Z. Just conversation and awareness around the fact of how women empowerment can take its recourse towards progressive march and perfection. And standing here on the platform of Miss World, I take the light to be the change, to be the source, and using social media to its utmost utility to be the power of change. Wow. Very nice. The same question. Miss so India is very eloquent. Miss Lebanon is very authentic. So let's see which one shall prevail. Good evening, everyone. First, of course, we should definitely make a goal in our life. But for, to empower women, first we have to start by ourselves and pageant, to normalize being authentic, to normalize that it's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to be ourselves. And that's why we're here today. That all of us are different here, but everyone is beautiful by their by own way, and that's why we are all here queens. So, to everyone watching me now, be who you are, be authentic to yourself, just be you, because that's what's making you work happen in the world. And that's what I like to be authentic. Thank you so much. Wow, Lebanon. I like Lebanon. She was eloquent, gave us the emotion that we're used to getting from her. So I think it was perfectly balanced. I think it might be Lebanon. It might be Lebanon's spot in the top four. So let's wait and see. I'm ready. Who's it going to be? Brazil or Trinidad and Tobago? Let's do this! The title of Miss World, America and the Caribbean, goes to... Goes to... Goes to... Trinidad and Tobago! I got it right though. I really hesitated because Brazil was the winner of the uh, Beauty with a Purpose Award. But at the end of the day, when you look at the track record, I think that Trinidad and Tobago has been more consistent since the beginning. So, Trinidad and Tobago deserved. <laughs> All right, I can Whoa. feel the energy, the nervousness behind the hand in front of me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Africa. Africa. It's Botswana. No doubt in my mind. Botswana is moving on to the Ladies and gentlemen, one of you okay. will see the new Miss World Africa. Botswana. And possibly the next Miss World. The title of Miss World 
Africa goes to who do you think it is? Scream louder, I can't hear you. Alright, whoever it is, you have to say you go girl when it happens. Alright, and the title of Miss World Africa goes to because now we're moving to Europe. Europe is gonna be hard. And Europa. En ce moment, ça pourrait être n'importe laquelle, mais je vais me fier à ma prédiction au départ qui était République Tchèque. Donc on va y aller avec ça. Let's go for the Czech Republic. Oh, Jesus. And that title goes to Miss World Europe is Czech Republic. I think, yeah, it's very obvious. At the end of the day, Miss World is a beauty pageant. And I think that among all of the delegates, parmi toutes les candidates, la République Tchèque est la plus belle. One of the most beautiful girls. Finally, Asia! collaboration with uh, Shark Tank basically, Shark Tank India for an investment which this might be some sort of sponsorship or something that they're doing but I, I see how it's different, it's fun, it's, but I don't know how pertinent it is for the pageant itself so let's see what it comes out of it. Basically the girls are trying to sell their beauty with a purpose uh, projects to the sharks in order to secure funds I'm guessing for investments is it internationally? Is it in India? What is the purpose of this, basically? And to do so, and to work with you all to create a brighter future and a happy world. Thank you so much. For the very first time, I kind of saw Trinidad and Tobago hesitate a little bit. I think that the nerves got um, a little bit under her skin. Maybe a little bit of the best of her. Um, still deliver a very efficient uh, you know, presentation, but this might be the one thing costing her the crown. Now let's go for Botswana. Uh, most definitely one of the favorites and one of the best speakers. I just want her to have that conviction and impact when she speaks. So let's see how she does. And I know that I can't do it alone. And as Julia Moni says, is it not better to light one candle than to not see in darkness? I aspire to be the driving force that inspires the world to act on the way we're going to do this at the end. Thank you so much. 
Great speaker on point, but it lacks the impact. The impact that I'm needing from a Miss World, you know, the the the, the capacity to capture someone's attention with you know their presence. I'm lacking a little bit of that on in Botswana. Just being brutally frank. So Miss Czech Republic, again, this is going to be challenging for her. So let's see how she does. It's something what I've been doing for a very long time, much before I entered the pageantry. It's something what's really close to my heart and what I'll be doing either I am in or I don't live the rest of the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice, but it can come across as a little bit rehearsed, very calculated, very planned. I would like to see someone a little bit more spontaneous. If Lebanon is able to give us that, I think the crown is going back home with Lebanon tonight. So let's see. Here she comes. All right, Lebanon. Now it's your turn to say why you should be the next Miss World. So that's why I want to share with the world resilience, yeah. resilience, love, respect, yeah, and bien. compassion. Super bien. So to everyone listening to me now, I just want to. No questions asked. Number one tonight right, in the top four is to Lebanon for me. Here. At least for me. So, let's see if there's something else that they will take into consideration to crown the winner. But if it was up to me to decide, it's Lebanon right now. Most definitely, if this is what they're gonna be using as uh, basically as material for the final decision, I think that is going to Lebanon. Uh, actually, if you guys notice, I did not release a final prediction for Miss World because I felt like my previous prediction, which I did before I even left the Philippines, it was still pretty accurate. Um, of course, some of the girls didn't make it, but I feel like for the most part, my top 10 is pretty representative of how I still feel up until now. In that topic, Lebanon was number one, and I feel like based on tonight's performance, she should be the winner. So, within a few minutes, uh, within exactly one minute and 22 seconds, we're gonna be finding out if I was right or wrong. <laughs> So, Botswana from Africa. Right order, Czech right order. Republic from Europe. Right. Lebanon from Asia and Oceania. Well, they'll be called in that same order. They're all candidates to the crown. <laughs> I can't help Let's see. but root for all of them all at once. We also have with us the incredible Julia Morley, CBE, Chairman and CEO of Miss World Organization to once again grace the stage and do the honors. Along with the reigning Miss World, Carolina, to sashay and crown the winner and runner-up tonight. First runner-up is Lebanon. Second runner-up is Lebanon. 
Miss World. What a moment in time. And now, Jem, we now move on to our winner. The Miss World is. This world is. going to be our Miss World. What will this say? Botswana! Republic, as I said, even with certain limitations in terms of language barrier, she managed to exceed everyone's expectations. Uh, for a moment, everyone was saying Botswana, which I think she will also be deserving, but definitely, uh, I think she liked a little bit of that impact when she was uh, expressing herself. I would have loved to see Lebanon, I'm not going to lie, but Czech Republic is a very good opportunity. So I thought this will be the perfect way to end the vlog live from the stage of Miss World 2024. I mean, what a roller coaster of emotions. It took several years to get to this point since the last edition. And I'm pretty sure that some of the girls are going through so many emotions and different feelings right now. Even myself, I feel like I still need to process everything that just happened here. But um, overall, I feel like the winner is deserving. Oh my God. <laughs> And I saw you coming here. Oh my god, I'm say so hello to, to the vlog. <laughs> hello, my name is Oliver Miss World Uganda 2019. Yeah. And I saw your post and I'm like, okay. Um, yeah, so congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We're in top 8, Uganda. Yes, of course. This is our second time, so we really feel so good. Congratulations, yeah. Thank you, thank you I was actually sitting nearby, so I would hear you cheering every single time. Oh, we were screaming. I, I think know. I'm going to lose my voice already. As you should. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank Enjoy. you so much. It's a pleasure. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Here, yes. Okay. They're wrapping up everything, the event, so we're just going to head out. Um, I'm definitely going to have a different video, perhaps rewatch the show and share with you guys some of my feelings, thoughts about the evening. But overall, I feel like the top um, eight, top four, even the winner, very deserving. Um, would, I, would I have done things differently, perhaps, in certain aspects? But for the most part, I feel like it was a good show. So let's just head out and that's a wrap on Miss World. <laughs> <laughs>